Hey guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to the channel. And today I really wanted to delve into finger detangling. I have been meaning to make this video for the longest time. It is very much overdue. And if you feel the same, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Okay, like I've finally done it. My hair is dry <laughs> um, and I allowed it to get to this state so that I could show you how to effectively finger detangle regardless of whether it's like midweek or on wash day. So I started finger detangling solely at pretty much maybe like the first, within the first year that I big chopped. So yeah, within a few months of big chopping, I transitioned or I weaned myself off using tools and started finger finger detangling solely but the point is I've been doing it for a really long time and these are the reasons why I love finger detangling so much. Number one, finger detangling is a great way to reduce mechanical stress, okay? Mechanical stress and mechanical trauma on your hair strands which is usually caused by your tools. You know there are loads of tools that you can use for detangling and combing your hair. You can use one of these, which is a brush that I absolutely love, and it's called a Tangle Wrangler, okay? It's basically the brush that the Felicia Leatherwood brush is made from, if that makes sense. So this was the original brush, and then she made her version that is like more natural hair friendly. You can also use wide tooth combs, and I've got like two different types here. You can use the one without the handle or you can use the one that comes with a handle. And hopefully by now, none of you are using this type of comb <laughs> to detangle your hair. So I hope none of you use this to detangle your hair. But as wonderful as all of these tools are, if not used properly they do cause mechanical trauma on your hair over time like over time even if you do use them properly um it causes trauma now the great thing about finger detangling is that you are very tactile you're in there you're touching your hair you're feeling it you can feel for knots you can feel for tangles and you can work those out very 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 easily so if you're someone that struggles with um, single strand knots as well this is a great opportunity for you to really be tactile with your hair you get to feel these strands and you get to cut them out as you go along that way you're not building and building and building all these single strand knots. This, this is basically essentially why I love finger detangling so much and it's something I'm very passionate about and I do advocate it to everybody regardless of your hair type. Finger detangling is a wonderful way for you to really get to know your hair. Number three, so the third point as to why I love finger detangling, you really get to know your hair, you know how your hair behaves, if you're um, detangling your hair and something feels off, you know it. You know it, guys. You know it. It's a great way to fall in love with your hair. It's a great way to become buddies with your hair. It's a great way to understand your hair. And once you understand your hair, your journey becomes so much easier. Right? If you've bought my hair guide, my hair growth guide that I recently launched, Journey to six inches okay then step five talks all about building your regimen and what I really want to hone in on is that building a regimen is and should be a holistic approach to hair care your regimen shouldn't just be oh these are the products I use I wash my hair once a week I deep condition once a week I trim every six months you know th that by itself is not your regimen. Your regimen should encompass your techniques, it should uh, encompass um, different alterations that you make to suit your hair. All of those things come together to give you a nice holistic picture of what you're doing to your hair and how it's responding. Now, finger detangling or the method in which you choose to detangle your hair is actually a decision that you should make as you build your hair regimen. Please guys, um, if you haven't had a chance to get my guide, check it out. Um, I will be going through and touching on different aspects of the guide um, as it pertains to different videos that I make moving forward. But it's very important for you guys to see 
your regimen as a holistic approach to hair care instead of like a really kind of standalone thing that you dip in and out of so yes i do hope that you guys watch that video in its entirety because i feel like the information that i've just shared is important um it helps you to make informed decisions regarding your hair care and where and how you want to get to where you're going so i finger detangle pretty much during every stage of my hair process and that includes my midweek um, moisturizing if I'm moisturizing my hair midweek I will go in and finger detangle it but focusing on wash day itself I start finger detangling before I get into the shower I finger detangle from when I'm doing my pre-treatment or my deep conditioners and pretty much through that whole process I'm finger detangling by the time I get into the shower and um, shampoo I'm finger detangling if I'm shampooing I'm finger detangling whilst I'm doing it if I am deep condition um using a conditioner I am also finger detangling if I'm using my clay wash I'm finger detangling finger detangling has to be something that you do consistently to ensure that you've done it thoroughly if that makes sense so you can't just do a one-off finger detangling at the very beginning of your um, wash day routine because you run the risk of leaving in knots that would form during the other processes so whilst you're shampooing you can create knots you can create tangles once you're while you're deep conditioning or conditioning depending on how you set up your regimen um, you can develop tangles so it's important that if you're going to finger detangle that you see it as something that you do at every step it's a continual thing to get to your destination so yeah let's jump right in so hopefully you guys find this this um what is this demonstration helpful and um usually i work in four sections now that my hair's much shorter as you can see I'm going to be working in three. Oh, uh, yeah. She comes out at night. Begs for a little bite. Cause she just wants a taste of the good life. She's up for a good time. You can see that she's a killer Tryna get you when your eyes closed She bad just like my girl Is she so smooth when she moves She got eyes on you, eyes on you, only you So what you gon' do when she comes for you In the night, don't close your eyes She's so dangerous Ooh, yeah, yeah She's so dangerous Ah, oh, oh, oh. She's so dangerous Ooh, yeah, yeah She's so, she's so Ooh, ah uh. Everything she does Makes you wanna touch but you can't see that she's not looking for love Just a little fun But you can't see that she's a killer Tryna get you when your eyes closed She bad just like my girl She's so smooth when she moves She got eyes on you, eyes on you Only you so what you gon' do when she comes for you in the night? Don't close your eyes. She's so dangerous. Ooh yeah, yeah. She's so dangerous. Ah, oh, oh, oh. she's so dangerous. Ooh yeah, yeah. She's so, she's so. Oh ah. Uh. She's gonna get ya alone together So she can get it, get a little taste of you Yeah, cause she's poison, 
under your skin So if you let her in She's so dangerous Ooh, yeah, yeah She's so dangerous oh, She's so dangerous Okay guys, I hope you found this video extremely helpful. This is my completely finger detangled side and this is my undetangled side. So you can see that finger detangling is an effective form of combing your damn hair. So yeah, in anticipation of some FAQs, um, troubleshooting that might come from you guys, Bear in mind that you don't need you don't need to have short fingernails um, to finger detangle your hair. You do ideally want to have unchipped nails. So chipped nails, <laughs> trust me, you're not gonna want to have your nails chipped because number one, it hell it hurts like hell, like it actually physically hurts when you try to finger detangle your hair with chipped nails but more importantly you are causing damage to your strands so that's the only no-no when it comes to your nails your nails can be like claw length okay and you'll be fine but you just don't want chipped nail polish me personally i've been doing this for a very long time and my rings don't come off like i don't take these rings off and so i wouldn't take them off to detangle my hair but if you're just starting out, please um, do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. If you can't do it with your um, rings on, please take them off. If you can, go ahead. But just ensure that there's nothing snagging your strands as you do this. I hope that my methods were helpful, nice and practical, in-depth, you know. The good stuff. I'm taking you back to old school YouTube. So um, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Help your sister out. Oh, and lastly, to all my Londoners, my social paint night is back. Bubble and paint is back. We are doing an event on the 27th of March. We're going to have live models. We're doing wearable art. That is the theme. I'll put the link to that in the description box. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.